Hey everyone, Brandon here, and today I'm going to be playing the mod pack um, Into the Sea. I wanted. I always tend to go through and look to see like what um, new like quest book games I can find to play because I actually enjoy quest book games a lot. And just in general, I tend to biome crystal. Okay. Um, I generally try to like like getting one of the starter chests just so I can like have a it's not meant to, I don't mean it to be like a little advantage it's just so I can just kind of get in and start quicker you know but um so I actually wasn't expecting this most of them tend to use a regular book this one has a lot of stuff the team of researchers went on an expedition to study the Bermuda Triangle the journey was long this is actually the information that they had in the little, um, thing before I, like, downloaded the game. Well, downloaded the mod pack. Gathering the suitcase, leaving the house, you calmly went to the port. Ten days and nights you sailed. With you and the, with you and the team was another sixteen people. On, on the eleventh night something went wrong. You hit hard and woke up, found yourself in the m unfamiliar place for you. One, what happened? You will have to solve this riddle, but to start survival. Oh man, this quest book is crazy. You kidding? It's gotta be... So, I have... N oh yeah, I'm gonna take this with me because... It's one of those things for me, I like having the little starting stuff just begin to make it a little bit easier for me starting the just starting the game really really pig what did I get hit by oh by the way I noticed this oh oh this has an automatic jump oh my god I'm so happy about that what what am I getting hurt by okay this is weird um so I turn on the subtitles to see what they are and it, you can see in the bottom right hand corner it's telling me like kind of where most things are um but yeah I turned this on and just immediately saw this and went like um what yeah let's get a zoomed in view okay it's actually okay that's the very that's inside my head what? I have like cat ears, wings, and a tail. Well then, okay. Oh hey, a slime uh, thing. Okay, so it wants me to collect um, oak logs. So let's throw some of these things in there first, and let's get some logs. Or get some wood, I could say. Haha, <laughs> getting wood. I want to say this game also has the Tinker's Construct mod in it as well. Oh god. Not good, not good. What the fuck? It's not even night type. No idea where that zombie came from. Compressed pig? What? Oh, it's actually kind of nice not having to jump. What is a compressed pig? Should I kill it? I'm killing it. Oh yeah, this has the new combat. Oh god. Which does not reward like rapid clicking. Well, I apparently now know what a compressed pig is. What that does for me. Okay, so I get to choose one. Let's take some apples. I 
I don't know if there was a special way I was supposed to start this up, but it seems more like I'm... Oh god, slimes. <laughs> They're jumping to their death trying to get me. My wooden axe is almost destroyed. I'm going to leave this area for now. Not good. That was a long drop. I'm seeing some mods I'm familiar with. Is that... Oh, oh it's got copper in it. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I'm going to have to get down to Tinker's Construct sooner or later. I know that much. And I don't mean that in a bad thing. I love Tinker's Construct. Oh. This also has, um, magic in it. Oh, God. A bee, be happy? Well, I guess I have to play by this book first, I guess. So it needs me to get a silkworm, which requires me to make a, uh, s not a sieve, um, a crook. So I can crook leaves, so I can possibly get a silkworm out of it. So let's get started on that, I guess. need a lot of these. Oh, hey, I got a silkworm. Nice. Next, I need to make silk mesh, which requires me to take the silkworm and put in some leaves. Thankfully, I have the what am I looking at mod, so it makes this a lot easier for seeing everything. Because, you know what, normally I, when I, it doesn't have the what am I looking at mod, uh, it makes it a lot harder for me to tell when a leaf block is actually infested fully. I should also work on making a house, and thankfully I have some torches, so that'll help me survive the night. Okay. So this is going to take a little while before it actually gets done, so let's build myself a little base right now then. Sadly, I do not go fancy when I build stuff just because I have, I'm not exactly used to building things in Minecraft. I am very much a lot better when it comes to tech stuff in this game. Did I actually make that the perfect number? Three and three, yeah, wow. I didn't actually plan on that. How many did I make this? I mean, it's not a perfect square, which kind of sucks, but hey, it's not bad. Let them go over as planned. God. Oh, I got hemp seeds. And old fruit. It's becoming the end of the first day in game and I haven't even finished building a house.
one of the things I did do in like one of the games I played for fun is I actually let like I put a single silkworm down and let it just infest the entirety of everything basically. Okay, I need to make a door. That makes three doors? What, can I just do two and make a single door? No, I... Okay, well, I wasn't actually expecting to make multiple doors. There we go. Let's hope I do not get killed. Oh, so this has Pam's Harvest Craft as well. Another mod I'm not... I, I'm familiar with, but not very good with. Oh! I got a... actually decent starting pickaxe, apparently. Had I known I would get such a nice thing right away, I wouldn't have... Yeah, I don't really do much. Like, I don't... I actually go through doing like a couple quests just to see what the rewards are beforehand. So I just kind of know what happens when I. Oh god, that's a lot of seeds it wants me to find. Can I put a roof on? I don't like the idea of spiders being able to get in here. Yeah, this is not enough wood. I made too large of a house. Okay, so this doesn't have the whole thing of letting me be able to see, like, light and all that, so I can find out if things are well lit enough to where monsters won't spawn in it. Well, I guess I am glad to have the Batania book again. Because this allows me to get through, like, some of the more standard stuff I need to know. Requires petals and cobblestone. That's easy enough for me to get, really. Especially because one of the things is I, is I now have- oh, it's got a slimy uh, handle. That's very nice, because that increases mining speed a lot, I want to say. And because there's a stone pickaxe, I get more stuff out of it. Sadly, there is one thing this is missing. I like having the, um... The tinker thing that allows you to, um... It, it basically makes everything, like, really... Nope, 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 nope. Well, this is not going to plan. I don't even have a bed or anything. Which, I mean, once I have string, it'll make it a lot easier. I, one of the things about the Batania book is, as well, is you can actually, like, while you have it in your possession, you can actually find out, like, s um, some different things, like, um, when you hold control on something, it can take you to, like, the webpage for the actual mod, and who made it and all that, which is really neat. I mean, I'm stuck in here anyway, so let's, um, let's do a little mining. place a torch down like here maybe yeah I 
I want to get enough stuff to make myself a furnace. Yeah, generally when I end up playing Minecraft, I tend to play it by myself because all my friends are pretty busy. Which is sad because I actually had a friend who a while ago tried to show me how to play the Tinker's Construct, uh, play using the Tinker's Construct mod. Which now I actually love that mod, but at the time everything he was saying was going over my head like, wait, what? Yeah, I, I, when I was younger I had like very little understanding of how this game works. Other than the basic, oh, I go mine and, you know, that's it. Hmm. This is going to take a long time to get today. I don't have any wood, so I can't, like, take and make some charcoal to make some more torches. Oh, well. Because I like actually one of one of the my favorite things with that um with that other mod is the fact that you can your weapons will level up as you use them, which to me is awesome because it's like oh, so I can I just have to upgrade my weapons instead of you know taking and creating an entirely new one. Oh, this is not going well. I mean, I guess there is one thing I can do. Let's see if this grows. There we go, now that's gone at least too. I am a witch. What is the hammer this hammer quest? Compressed stone hammer. Hit cobble with a hammer to give gravel. And then this can be saved to produce another set of items, or hit with a hammer to produce... Yeah, okay. So I need to make about a dozen stone hammers. Well, nine stone hammers in order to make one compressed stone hammer. I don't even think I have that many st enough sticks for all that. Yeah, I do not. Now I do. Well, no I don't. I still don't have enough. I need a lot more sticks. No. Don't blow up my house. Don't blow up my house. Oh god. I'm out. I'm out. I'm back in my house now. Okay, so I need to make a silk mesh. There we go. So 
So let's claim some apple juice, I guess. Now it wants me to make one oak sieve, which means I need to get logs. Well, not logs, but you know. Okay, give me a lot of this. And apparently it doesn't want a stack either. Basic. Oh, it's like a box of loot. Palace crystal? Black quartz? Well, that's... okay. Some of this stuff I also do not know, so it's like, okay, how does this help me out? No, 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 no. Oh good, he didn't damage my house at all. That's good. Okay, so now let's make myself a bed so I can respawn back here and not get trapped somewhere else forever. And then we'll make my oak sieve. I feel like this is map is supposed to be like some sort of set map almost, but it's not, so... Nothing I can do about it. I want to say in order to make the oak sieve, I need to get, um, I need oak planks, but I want to, cr one thing I do want to create is, can I burn this? No. Great. Well, and then I need some sticks. I want to say it's something like, well, I'm probably wrong though. Okay, yeah, I'm wrong. Then it requires there to be like this. No? Okay. It doesn't even require any silk mesh? That's weird. What is silk mesh used for then? Oh, there's a boat. There's my oak sieve. Which I'll put like, I guess over in this corner. Oh god. So now I need to take cobblestone with the hammer in order to get to any of that stuff. No, wait, wait, wait. Is that the stuff without the hammer or is that stuff with the hammer? Okay, yeah, that's the stuff from gravel, so I need the hammer in order to do that. Which means I need to make more sticks. I did not make a bed. Fuck. Would you quit it? There we go. Okay, this is just going to be a pain, isn't it?
Gotta grab each individual hammer. Okay. Oh, I made too many. How did I make... Oh, one must have been in my hand and I just didn't see it. Now I need to turn cobblestone into gravel, which means I need to put the cobblestone down on the ground and beat it down like this. Yeah, these the ones that are like skyblocks ones are kind of crazy like this to begin with, which is what makes me think that this is meant to be like some sort of skyblock one too. And now they want me to take the gravel and beat it down to sand. What, do they want me to go another layer and beat it? Oh, yep, they want me to beat it down to dust, too. Yeah, I completed that. Yeah, I know. Um, let's grab carrot juice, I guess. Oh, an unrefined crucible. Okay. Yeah, this seems like it wants me to build a world, but I think I got an actual world instead of something else I was supposed to get. I think I was supposed to be stranded on like a tiny island with almost nothing. But it doesn't seem to think that way, so okay then. And actually, I think I'm going to leave this off here. Um, let me know if you want to see me play more of this down in the comments below. This one, the way it's going, is just going to start off by being a bit more tedious than anything else. Because it seems like I'm supposed to be stuck on like a skyblock or an island. Because otherwise, it, it doesn't make as much sense. So, yeah, because otherwise you don't need all this X Nilo stuff. And even though I really enjoy the X Nilo stuff, it's not necessarily uh, not necessary unless you're planning on doing stuff like that. And I got mana steel ingots, which are for Batania. So. Anyways, let me know what you want to see me... Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you want to see me play down in the comments below, and I hope you all have an amazing day.